I want to start off with talking about The Flash. We're not going to talk specifics. If you want to look it up yourself, go for it. Maybe my head has just been in the sand, but I had no idea about a specific cameo that is in this movie. And I found out about it last night, and it is the most offensive thing I have ever heard for any nerd film ever. This is worse <laughs> than what they did to Luke Skywalker. This is worse than anything Disney Star Wars has done. I am fucking livid. Now, let's talk about some of the public news that we have on this right now, and that is the box office. The box office right now is not tracking very well, in my opinion. But you see the spin that Deadline is putting on this. Hoping not to be gone in a flash, DC pick eyes 155 million worldwide opening weekend that's the spin they're putting worldwide on it. you want to know something jeremy i will say this varieties on the same topic had a different headline it said the flash targets 70 million pixar's elemental aims for 35 million in an underwhelming box office battle <laughs> <laughs> underwhelming box office battle I'm not going to show anything because they'll probably strike it on that. But yes, Christopher Reeve is in this movie. And who is that? Is And that's Supergirl that's standing next to him. Yeah. Yes. I am astonished that they put Christopher Reeve, the single greatest Superman, the most iconic casting mm. in the history of superhero movies, and they've brought him into this. I can't believe it. It is unreal i don't know the full context of what they're i mean i know this is all flashpoint and you got time i understand all that i'm too much specific to that we knew nick cage was in it we knew that was a thing because they announced it I, and i, I mean? have to say i really do like the nick cage and not because it's like freaking cool it's just like if you know like the lore behind it and I'm, all that stuff it's just kind of like wow well there it is you know? i'm okay with that i'm okay with nick cage i'm okay with a lot of the stuff they're doing i am not okay nick with nick cage is Reeve. also not rest in peace you know yes so i am not, I am like, not okay crap. i am not okay with christopher reeve being in this movie in any way shape or form to me dc has destroyed superman for years they have disrespected superman for years and now you're bringing the most definitive casting we've ever had in the history of superhero movies the standard for everything that we have ever seen and it, it, it just infuriates me maybe i didn't know this i guess this has been pretty widespread knowledge I didn't know. I was wondering if Christian Bale was going to be in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's why I was thinking. I was thinking Christian Bale it's was going to be Bale. in the movie. So, I know. <laughs> I know it's not. You know what I mean? So, that's why I guess I was wondering. I'm like, do I want to know everything? Because if Bale shows up, I mean, I'm a huge Bale fan. And, you know, that would be kind of cool to see his Batman, even in a cameo. So, I guess I was avoiding some of the specifics. So, I didn't know this. And then I'm just scrolling through Twitter and I see this this video and I'm like, there's no way this is real. There's no way this is real. This has please be deep fake. Please be a deep fake. I think this movie is in serious, serious trouble. The only one I haven't seen is the Adam West. For some reason, that hasn't been leaked yet. I'm sure, they're just going to do it exactly like they did the other ones where Flash is running through time. If that's how they're going to justify this horrific CGI, is that it's yeah. just blurry and he's just running through well, time, you know? So, like, the yeah. images doesn't have to look crisp. It's just funny to me where they're just like, you know, James Gunn is going to blow up the DCU, so let's just throw everything we can into this film to see if people will come and watch it they didn't show the ending to the people that got to see the film early like chris gore and others that were able to see the film early and do an early review they cut out like the last 10 minutes and all they saw was somebody coming out of the car and that's when we everybody was saying oh it could be christian bale as batman it could be anything it could be anything and uh it's george clooney <laughs> I was like, what the heck, man? So I don't hate the George Clooney thing as it's much as I hate the, I know. It's just kind of funny. He was yeah, it's what, a meme. It's do almost we consider a meme at this point, George so. Clooney the worst Batman out of all the films? Yes. Yeah, I guess. No more Flash spoilers, but we will talk about The Flash uh, and the box office. So with all of that said, with all of the nonsense surrounding The Flash, we have a ton of cameos. We have a ton of things going on with Ezra Miller and him being a, literally a criminal that they can't really have him market the film, even though they had him show up to the premiere. Now you have these reports that they're trying to hype it up with the worldwide opening because they can't talk about the domestic opening because the domestic opening sounds really bad. So... 
After a year plus of tabloid headlines about its star Ezra Miller, Warner Brothers DC's COVID delayed $200 million Justice League standalone superhero movie, The Flash, finally arrives in theaters. The overseas opening books better than domestic, 155 to 165 million to 70 million plus in the US, Canada. So 70 million plus domestic is not a good number for a film no. of with $200 million budget and all of the stuff surrounding this movie. And I, I gotta be honest, I believe it's far more than a $200 million budget based on reshoots, based on delays, based on everything going on with this. Despite a very good response out of CinemaCon and DC co-boss James Gunn exclaiming that the pick is probably one of the greatest superhero films ever made, along with reports of how the movie is already ready to reset the DC verse, the flash uh, has been sitting around 70 million to 75 million on tracking for quite some time. That's a glass half full type of start stateside, especially in a marketplace that has been hot and actually plans to remain hot. So I think they're in trouble. James Gunn, if James Gunn is saying that this is one of the greatest superhero films ever made, what I think that means is that this is the window to try to reset the universe Agreed. so that it can give him the clean slate that he needs. I will say from that perspective, to erase Zack Snyder's dog shit universe, that's almost like the best thing you can tell me. But the Christopher Reeve element, God, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. also I, I kind of think... wish I'd watched the movie with you just to see your reaction live if you didn't know yeah. that was coming. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it's just ridiculous. You can hear man. Jeremy screaming and throwing his slushy at the yeah. Yeah, right so I think everything that James Gunn says at this point, if it's regarding the old DCEU, you have to take with a grain of salt because he's been on record at saying, oh, yeah, you know, Ezra Miller, you know, he, he might be coming back as the Flash. And, and just the other day, he said that Blue Beetle is going to be the first movie for the DCU. And it's mm. like, uh, OK, so like with James Gunn, man, I think he's a fucking weirdo. Does he know a lot about comics? Does he maybe respect these characters a lot? Yeah, sure. But. As far as his DCU goes, you can take that for a certain fact because he's obviously in control of it all. But when it goes back to this old DCEU, you can't really believe everything he says. He's gonna try to he's gonna try to hype it up just for the money, just so that you know Warner Brothers doesn't lose money on these picks. And then eventually, for the next couple of years, once Aquaman comes out and Blue Beetle comes out, uh, and those are over with, then gonna get more clarity. But right now, I think he's kind of full of shit with some of this old DCEU stuff.